everybody. Um, so I'm just kind of hanging out here and just it came to mind. So I figured I would make this video to kind of help um, those people that's breaking into YouTube and wanting to become a tech reviewer or what I like to call a tech tuber. So we're going to we're gonna talk about that right now. Um, so one of the main things that I see a lot of questions, whether it's to other YouTubers or even asked to me, and that is, well, breaking into this whole thing of reviewing uh, mobile technology, which is the way to go? Should they, you know, go after the most popular devices and by doing so, will that catapult them into getting new subscribers and getting more um, exposed and discovered? Or, um, you know, what, I mean, like, the differences with that and then versus someone who reviews all types of tech and including the budget mid-range the non uh the brands that have never been heard of and things like that and so i just kind of want to elaborate a little bit just to kind of like give a point of view for those people who are starting up a channel to kind of understand and just to kind of look into because i mean these things is um is what's going to make or break your channel really at the end of the day um one thing I do notice, though, is that a lot of uh, people coming into this, doing these types of videos, they, um, they they come into it with the notion that they're going to get paid big bucks. And let me just first start off by saying to anyone out there that is uh, looking to join up with YouTube because they're looking to make um, some sort of um, major um, bank off of this, let me just say right now that's furthest from it. You're not going to bank big when you first step in. Especially with YouTube's new policies now to kind of uh, wing out those people who are just in it, you know, for the the um, the minor, you know, short term versus those people who are in it for the long haul. Because obviously YouTube wants content creators that are going to be in it for the long period of time. And then that way they'll invest their time in helping those types of channels grow because that's also how they receive their revenue um, from major corporations who will place ads on content creators' videos. So, um, the idea of, of going after flagship devices versus reviewing just about different types of um, products that are considered tech and having a much broader um, selection of reviewable units. The problem with going after flagship only um, and the major thing is, is that a lot of the major well-established content creators and channels here on YouTube have that on lock. They have that on lockdown because, um, one, obviously they're sponsored. So PRs from different um, companies basically send them review units for them to review. Maybe one or two additional products to do a giveaway on. And um, these companies are well aware of it. They know, you know. All the four major carriers, all the prepaid carriers, they know that the best source for them right now that is um, that is paying big for these companies to get customers and get um, products sold is through the YouTube content creators. You know, they can put ads on TV, they can put ads anywhere that they want. And while those do count for some form of, you know, business and revenue, they know that the major way is word of mouth and word of mouth best platform for word of mouth is youtube because you have real um hold on <coughs> you have real um consumers real people reviewing these units reviewing these products like if you know if motorola sent me the moto x4 and then i'm giving you guys a review on it i'm going to tell you guys what I think. Now, I know that there are some content creators who have a list of guidelines they have to follow. They can't just say what they want to say about a phone um, in order for them to get the sponsorship. And so we know about those well made established. That's why I like the other techies because they aren't in that category. They don't have to abide by PR rules in what they can and what they cannot say. They can say what they want to say. They can be open about the phone completely and um, give you know better knowledge to give out there. Because one thing that I always say is that a content creator on YouTube who reviews tech, you shouldn't base all your decisions off of that person and what they say. But you should take what they say in light to help you form your own judgment whether a product is worth buying or not. That's at least for me. I don't know about the other creators out there and how they see it. 
if they see it like you should follow their words completely or not. I'm one that just says that I'm not always right. So take what I say, however you want to take it, and just use it as something to help you make a good conscious buy. So with reviewing flagships, you're against all those major ones who've been well established for over 10 years, even over five years. Those that have literally turned their small YouTube channel, such as mine, into a major corporate style, like MKBHD, who started reviewing tech long ago, you know, when he was very young, and he did blogs from like his computer versus to what it is now with an, an office setting, office decorations, and multiple different uh, cameras to shoot with, and multiple different rigs to set up to get a good camera shot, a good slide motion, a good, you know, just all that good production um, that he's doing is now established into like a corporate-like setting. Even though it looks like just like a, a plain kickback lounge, it is... Um, it is basically a corporate setting. So, but you have YouTubers like that that have already got that covered. So if you are just going to buy only flagship devices, thinking that because they are the popular ones that people are seeking out to spend money on, that, that that's the way you have to go, um, you're looking for the fight of your life if you're really serious about YouTube because you are now up against them. And if I was to show you a mapping, like, like if I was to take a... You know, like a giant construction board, construction paper board, and then tap with a marker dots. And those dots represent individuals on YouTube who review flagship tech. You will see literally almost the entire thing covered in dots. And you are a needle in a haystack compared to all that. Because again, these are people who have been around for a while. They've established a good following. And those people who, you know, one thing that is, you know, true about us humans is that we're creatures of habit. Once we find something that we like, we tend to stick with that until that runs out. So like if guys like MKBHD or if companies like Techno Buffalo and Phone Dog and Android Authority and Android and me and Fandroid and all of them, if they decided to just quit doing anything that had to do with tech review, then the next generation underneath them will then be brought up. And that could be you. But Again, you have to wait for them to want to move out the way to let you come up so people can see your content and see what you have to say about a particular device and get to know you as a person and grow with you. Do you really want to stay around waiting for that? The other alternative is basically going with not only just flagship devices, but budget devices, mid-rangers, um, brands that have never been heard of, and also different types of tech like you know, audio, visual, laptop, Chromebooks, tablets, um, smart speakers, Bluetooth speakers, those types of things, power banks, power adapters, wireless charging pads, um, furniture with tech built into it. There are so many different options that you can use and do that could get your channel put on the map. Um, you don't have to necessarily go with every flagship device there is out there that's like... That's an uphill battle. That's an incline that, you know, may not always end up the way you want it to. Going the other route exposes you to many different types because there is a market for budget devices. There are people out there who want a phone that's really solid, really good, and performs very well. But they're, they're, they're balling on a budget. So they want to buy a $50 phone because that's what they can afford. But they don't want that $50 phone to be running crappy so they're going to look for someone who knows their stuff about budget phones who can say these are the 10 types of phones you can buy for 50 bucks my recommendation is phone c because phone c has this much ram this much you know, this processing chip this screen size this battery size it does this 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 and this and you would never know that it was only worth 50 bucks they're looking for someone who could tell them that there's a market for it there's a market for people who want to know good bluetooth headphones those headphones that sound really good or cheap headphones that have some good features to it like wireless technology that has good sound but doesn't won't break your your wallet there's people who are in the market of getting a smart speaker a home assistant that will basically do things and and provide information for you with just voice recognition there's those people who want really nice TVs um good resolution big you know 
60 inch display but they don't want to spend five thousand dollars for it so if you are one who can find these types of TVs at a more reasonable price you got a following that's looking for someone like that and that's why if the broader your um, your focus is then the more you'll pull in so that's just a tip that I want to give out to any of the, the new tech tubers coming up and if this is a uh, beneficial for you guys hopefully you guys put it into play so anyways um, that's where I'm going to end it at right now. If you guys want to leave any extra feedback or whatever, comment sections where you do so. First time checking out my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I upload a video. Uh, smash that like button if you guys enjoyed what I had to say on this video. And until next time, everybody, aloha.